What's up, everybody? Hope everyone is having a great day, having a great summer thus far. Can't believe that football is back officially. I think I got everything worked out for the game streams. Haven't done any test for the green screen and such yet, but all of that's coming. This video here, man, is um, it is some sad news. And that is that one of our guys in the chat uh, Jorge, you remember Jorge, been with us since 2020, 2019. He was actually here pre-COVID that he, he passed away. And what some of you may or may not know, I, I'm going to say probably you don't know, is that Jorge texted me about a year ago and he said that he had cancer. And I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Said it popped up out of nowhere. Caught him off guard. And he had cancer. He had he had lung cancer. He had two different type of cancers in his lungs. And I find I found out yesterday that he passed away. So what led to me finding out is I was talking to a friend of mine about him. And I decided to text him. So when I text Jorge, that is, his message, he had an iPhone and it said it couldn't be, his message, the message couldn't be sent. And usually, if you're an iPhone user, you get that, that message if you are a, if you're like, you're in a bad area. So knowing that Jorge had cancer, I start instantly thinking something bad. Then... A friend of mine told me that they tried texting him, texting him as well back in May and that the message still hadn't been read. And so I'm my brain is in something must have happened, but like he's no longer with us. So after some research by my friend, we find out that he, he passed and he passed in January, two weeks after the end of the Lions season. And the reason I brought up the Lions season is because Jorge texted me the day of the Lions last game. And he told me how, how happy he was for my team. And I remember when Dan Campbell got hired, he texted me and he told me that, um, he was like, Dan Campbell is, is a good one because he used to coach, to be a position coach in Miami. And he told me that Dan Campbell was going to be the person that changed this team. So Jorge is actually the person that described, uh, designed the Gridiron Blitz, the thing, my, my avatar and my... Um, my banner avatar. He was a. Uh, he did like advertisement and stuff for a living. And I remember he he saw my old gridiron bliss like when I first started, and he told me how trash it was, and he volunteered to make me one, and he did, and I've been rocking with it ever since. I saw a video of Jorge because he did a. He had lost his job due to the cancer medical bills were piling up and I saw a um, a video <clears throat> of him and it was the worst thing it, it was like the worst thing he was unrecognizable when I saw him We've been doing this for a, a long time and we talk about like, we have like a, a YouTube family. And it's, it's kind of amazing that we've made these connections. And some of you I talk to offside, you know, outside of the platform, but we talk about like YouTube family. And I remember 
the day of the Lions game, when we beat the Packers, he was so happy for us. And he texted me and he told me that he needed, he had a great time in the stream and that he needed, he needed this for what he was going through. Jorge had two children. I want to say he was a little bit older than me. And he had two children probably around the same age as my son. And it's it's just amazing. Like I would have never thought that I would make when I started doing this that I would make friends and, and acquaintances that would go beyond YouTube. And you know the, the the thing about it is Jorge, he was like a proud man, but he wasn't he wasn't haughty or anything like that. He never once asked for my influence to help him. I didn't even know he had a GoFundMe. I had no idea. No clue. Because he didn't tell me. He could have. He could have asked for help. But he didn't. You, you just never know, like, what... You know how you meet people that you may never, ever see again? And then you meet people that you never, I never met him. Never, he was supposed to, in 2021, when I went to see the Rams, he was supposed to meet me at SoFi and come to the game, but he was unable to make it. And, and I'm starting to wonder, like, is this why? Maybe he already knew, he didn't say anything. But um, <clears throat> I want everybody to know out there that we might not have met each other physically, but. When we come into these live streams, it really does feel like we're family. And I hope that when you come into my live stream, I can make you laugh. I can make you have a good time. I can entertain you. I got another subscriber as well that told me, you know, like we're on YouTube and we want to be successful. It's all about being like you want to I want to be successful in anything that I do and this 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 person told me that one of the things that drew him to me was this channel and how he would hate to see like the gridiron blitz go away because that's one of the things that drew him to me was my personality And sometimes personality can get lost in success because YouTube is about algorithms and a, a lot of stuff that y'all don't know about. But that's, y'all should know. It's not something you need to deal with. That's for the creator to deal with. But it, it meant a lot to hear that. And I think about uh, how some of you guys, during the, the brief time that we get to spend together during the season, how... You look forward to, to spending three hours with me. And I look forward to it too. I do. Sometimes I get caught up in the numbers and, and, and stuff like that. But I look forward to it. Because whatever reality you're going through in, in, in real life. Maybe for those three hours I can help you where it, it doesn't hurt so much. So, yeah, I, uh, Jorge, uh, actually, his family put something on Facebook back in January when he passed away. So I figured if it was on, if it was on Facebook, that it was okay for me to put it on here. And I, and I also feel like he would want y'all to know. So here I am telling you, if you... Wherever in the, in the chat with Jorge I, he won't he won't be there anymore. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great weekend. I look forward to seeing you this weekend.